Hello, my name is Christine and I run a vintage shop called Prima Treasures on Etsy. I picked up this ashtray this uh, weekend at an estate sale and when I found it, I didn't really know anything about it. I only knew that it had this cool lion on it and I thought, you know, lions are generally popular with shoppers, so let's go ahead and give this a try. So I brought it home and I started to do some research on it and initially when I spotted it at the estate sale, I thought that this base was made out of carved stone. But the more I researched and started looking at other examples of this ashtray, I realized that um, actually this ashtray is made of glass and it seems that it was made by a company called Acro Agate, and they specialized in this swirl type of glass. Uh, it was sort of their own proprietary process that they came up with, and they initially started making marbles with it, because I guess, you know, people collect marbles, and they always like to find interesting ones, and so this was kind of an interesting thing they could do. So eventually they started getting into other types of novelties and things like ashtrays and I guess that's how you end up with something like this. Um, it's cool because it's got this sculptural line on top of it and then this base is actually made of glass and the reason that I wanted to talk about it a little bit is not just because it was a bit of a re interesting research project but also because you know, sometimes when we're doing research, we learn things that we don't really expect. And the information that we get, if you bear with me just a minute, I'm going to turn these lights out so you can see for yourself. We learn something unusual that we weren't expecting to find. And one of the things that I noticed about this particular ashtray is that apparently it's made with uranium glass, which is why it's glowing like that. So, I wanted to kind of demo that because, again, when I first picked it up, I thought it was carved stone. And once I read about the company and started seeing other examples of this ashtray, uh, that's when I learned that it was made out of glass. Now, typically, glass made before World War II would more often have uranium in it. Then during the war, uranium was, you know, kind of commandeered for military purposes, and so a lot of glass makers pretty much stopped using it at that point. And it's not that we can't make glass like this today with uranium, and there are a few companies who do it intentionally, um, but most glass companies pretty much stopped because unless they're selling a piece specifically as uranium glass, they're not adding it to just whatever glass they happen to be making. But during the period that this company was in operation, the 20s and 30s, it would have been more common. So the reason that we are able to date this ashtray to the 20s and 30s period is not just that maybe that's when the company was in business, which it was, but also we can kind of verify that information by taking note of the fact that the glass itself has uranium in it. So. I wanted to talk about this ashtray because it had an interesting history, because it turned out to be different than I thought it was, and because it kind of illustrates that sometimes when you're attempting to research and learn about something, you learn new facts that kind of change what you thought you were getting. So I hope you've learned something about how the research process works, and also about this interesting company that started out making marbles and ended up making a cool piece like this. Thanks for watching.